Chess friends, welcome to our today's genius chess video, today AlphaZero sacrificed his queen for a mind-blowing chess strategy against Magnus Carlsen, before starting the video let's show your today's puzzle, this is your today's chess puzzle, 80 to 90 IQ puzzle, solve the puzzle and comment me, let's go, Alpha started with E4, we have C5, Knight goes to F3, Knight here, D4, the exact same opening like the previous day, if you didn't watch that video then you can watch that video in my channel. So after pawn takes and knight takes, you can play e6, a6 or e5 move, also g6 which is called accelerated Sicilian, Magnus played g6, accelerated dragon Sicilian, knight goes to c3, bishop g7, bishop here, knight here, bishop goes to f4, Magnus played castle, and alpha moved back his bishop. Last day Magnus pushed his queenside pawns on this position, but now what should he play? If you think, knight to a5 to target the bishop, let me show the variation, if knight here, then e5, if you retreat your knight, then alpha will sacrifice his bishop, by playing bishop takes f7 check, if rook takes happen, then knight to e6, trapping the queen in her home, you will lose your queen, so, in this position, if you play king takes f7, then knight e6 anyway, threatening the queen, so after king takes, queen d5 check, king here, and there is mate in few moves, g4, takes, queen check, here, and checkmate, so. Back to the position, Magnus played excellent move knight to g4, targeting the bishop, alpha played queen takes knight, knight takes d4, we have queen to h4, but according to me best was to play queen backs to retreat the knight, we have queen to a5, alpha played castle, bishop to f6, targeting the queen, in this position best is to play queen h6, but alpha 0 is alpha 0, he played queen takes f6, according to me it's not a brilliant move or best move, alpha 0 considered it's a brilliant move. Here Magnus finds best move knight e2 check, because after knight takes e2, the knight needs two more moves to get active on the center, so after pawn takes queen, Alpha played knight to c3, Magnus problem is that, he can't stop the knight, the knight have a great outpost to attack the kingside pawns, black will face problems to make progress with his passive pieces and pawn structure, knight here, then bishop to e4 to target the f6 pawn, then bring your rook to pressure on this pawn on this way. Also the light square bishop have a very good diagonal, alpha love to sacrifice his pieces for active his most of pieces and control more squares than enemy pieces, here Magnus played rook e8, knight jumps into e5, you can't take the pawn, because of knight fork and you will lose your rook, so king up to g7, bishop d4 to target the pawn, so, rook up to e6, rook goes to d1, to make progress like this to create problems on this diagonal and file, Magnus played d6. He want to develop his bishop to eliminate the knight, rook up to e3, bishop here, alpha played knight takes f6. You should not take the knight, if you do, then rook here to capture back your rook, once the rook is fall, position will be very bad, bishop on this diagonal, you will lose your f7 pawn and king safety, so, Magnus here played bishop to b5, to lasering on the rooks, rook slides to f3, if you hungry for more pieces and play bishop takes rook, let me show the variation, then knight check, king back to f8, bishop takes e6, king ups, bishop backs, and that's it, king position is very bad, white have advantages. Don't trust the analysis bar if you are a human, alpha will play bishop here, queen slides, then ruo check, king backs, knight check, here, check, here, bishop here, and it will be plus 11 position for white, so, back to the position, here, Magnus Carlsen played bishop to e2, he want to take this one rook, alpha says, ok come buddy and take my rook, you have to save your queen first because queen is more worthy than a rook, so, queen b5, a4, queen backs, knight takes h7 discover check, and you cannot take the knight. Let me show you why, if you do then rook takes check, king backs, takes, and this is plus 6 position for white, because the king is widely open in front of a lion, if you think, oh wow, I win a another rook, no fool, then rook to f3, discover check, the f file, and these diagonal is covered by the bishops, so king h7, then rook h3, which will be a checkmate, so, back to the position, 
Magnus calculates the checkmate sequences and he played best move f6, and chess friends, I want to give you a best move in your life. Your best move is to like and subscribe to my channel, then you will be unstoppable in chess, Alpha Zero is unstoppable, he played bishop takes rook, and you still cannot take the knight, we have bishop takes f3, knight takes f6, bishop e2, you can play knight d5 to check the king which is the best move according to me, but alpha played his best move rook e1, we have king f8, knight d5, alpha wants to play knight here, to deflecting the queen from this diagonal, if the queen moves way then rook takes bishop. So, rook to e8, knight to c7, queen c6, knight takes, takes, we have bishop back to b3, queen takes, bishop e2, alpha wants to play bishop h6 check, so king e8 which is the best move, c4, queen here, bishop here, queen backs, c5, takes, bishop to d5, king slides, bishop backs. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.